اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to check one of the assumptions of uh, SCM models. Normally, when we are running our SCM models, uh, we assume uh, the relationship between variables to be linear. Now, it is one of uh, the robustness checks uh, that one needs to perform before conducting a structural model assessment. Next, we are going to perform quadratic effect or we are going to assess the linearity now, whether or not the relationship between variables is linear. Now, if the relationships are linear, then our assumption is substantiated. Now, in order to do so, what we need to do is we are going to use this quadratic effect in Smart PLS to check whether or not the relationship between variables is linear or not. So, what you are going to do is click quadratic effect and then you will have these small boxes here and that will ask you where do you want your quadratic effect now i want to check it for all relationships so i'm just going to click here and keep on clicking till you add the quadratic effect for all the possible relationships now once that is done you simply need to go to calculate bootstrapping the recommended is between 5000 to 10,000. Two tailed bias corrected and simply press start calculation now here are our results now look at this p values now these are your p values i do not see any significant ones but to be sure go to path coefficients and see this the quadratic effects all of them are insignificant this means that these proposed relationships the assumption of linearity is met the quadratic effect needs to be insignificant now your structural model one of the robustness checks now one of the robustness test checks out so the relationship the assumption is met these relationships are linear why linear because if you look here these are insignificant so your quadratic effect that is a particular variable multiplied by its own value and then its effect on the outcome that is insignificant. So this is how you can check linearity of relationships in smart PLS. Thank you very much.